Hey folks, welcome to another day, another hands-on video. I've got the Samsung phones here today, the Galaxy S23 series. So this is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, and if it looks like the S22 Ultra, I'll forgive you because yes, it's pretty much the same. I will show you the biggest difference right off the bat, and it's this right here. There's a bit of a flat edge here. It's not as round as before. That's how you're gonna be able to tell them apart. And of course, these look a little flatter here, these extra two cameras. But anyway, this is what the screen looks like. We are dealing with a 6.8 inch display again. Again, the same kind of display, 120 Hertz LTPO. It is a Quad HD panel, of course. Yeah, basically the specs are very much the same as last year's. 5,000 milliamp hour battery, wired and wireless charging, and, uh, the big difference this year is the new processor. We've got a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 in here. So that's, of course, a big upgrade. And the main camera in the back is a 200 megapixel main camera instead of the 108 megapixel. So you still have the same setup. The main sensor is 200 megapixel now with OIS, of course. You get a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x optical zoom, and a 10 megapixel 10x optical zoom. So again, not much of that has changed. But that new 200 megapixel sensor is supposed to be even better in low light with more detail overall. And so it's going to be a pretty much an improvement, I think, at this point. But we won't know till we test it. So let me walk you through the edges real quick. So on the right hand side here, you can see there's a volume rocker, power lock key, the little window for the millimeter wave 5G. At the bottom, you've got the SIM slot and USB type C, primary microphone, speaker. And of course, you've got the S Pen, right? And that hasn't changed. You still get an S Pen. This is like the replacement for the Galaxy Note, just like last year. Nothing on the left-hand side. Then we've got on top a microphone and an antenna band, and that's basically the layout for this phone. Again, very iterative. The big news here is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and the 200 megapixel main sensor. In terms of RAM and storage, we're still getting eight or 12 gigs of RAM and either 256, 512 gigs or one terabytes of storage. So, you know, that hasn't changed too much either. So yeah, overall, this is a pretty nice upgrade in terms of cameras. Hopefully we'll see some results soon. And the 8 Gen 2 is a welcome upgrade over the 8 Gen 1. There you go, Galaxy S23 Ultra. And here, folks, is the Galaxy S23 Plus. So not much has changed again since last year. The big difference here is the camera pod. You no longer have that metal rounded island that kind of comes off of the side rail into the back. You just have individual lenses protruding, just basically like the Galaxy S23 Ultra. And then the rest of it pretty much looks familiar, the shape, the rails, everything else. And so in front, you have a 6.6 inch, 120 Hertz, 1080p display, and you have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 here. So that's the biggest update this year. In terms of storage, you get eight gigs of RAM and either 256 or 512 gigs of storage. And then in terms of battery, you get a 4,700 milliamp hour battery. So yeah, let me walk you through the edges real quick here. We've got a volume rocker, power lock key, and a millimeter wave window on the right side. On the bottom here, we've got a speaker, microphone, USB type C and SIM tray. And then here on the left-hand side, it's pretty empty. You don't have too much going on. On top, you have a secondary mic here and an antenna band, lots of antenna bands. This is a metal and glass with Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on front. So yeah, in terms of cameras, again, the pods are different, but the cameras are pretty much the same. You got a 50 megapixel main camera with OIS, and you've got 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 3x telephoto that's 10 megapixels. Again, this is pretty much on par with last year. So the big upgrade here is the processor and slight design changes. Very iterative, but nothing wrong with that. You know, if you haven't bought a Samsung phone in a while, obviously this is gonna be your ticket. And this, folks, is the Galaxy S23, the base model, the simple one. And uh, yeah, check it out. Again, the big difference here is the camera pod. So you no longer have that wrap around metal camera pod like before. You have three individual lenses, very much like the S23 Ultra. And uh, that's the biggest design change. The rest, as you can see from the shape and everything else, is very familiar. You got the same 6.1 inch display, your same camera system in the back, 50 megapixel main with OIS, 12 megapixel ultra wide and a telephoto. And then of course, the big news is the updated processor, which is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. So 
yeah, you're getting a newer processor and a slightly update in terms of cosmetics. If you're coming from an S22, you probably won't need to upgrade, but if you're coming for maybe an older Samsung phone, this is gonna make it worth your while. Let me walk you through the edges here. You've got a volume rock with power lock key and millimeter wave antenna window on the right side. Got the speaker, microphone, USB type C and a SIM slot on the bottom. Nothing really on the left and on top, you've got the secondary mic and antenna band. If this seems familiar, it's because it's the exact same layout as the S23 Plus. So yeah, those are very much twin phones and uh, you're not sacrificing too much. The battery's a little small here at 3,900 milliamp hours. Obviously, smaller display, smaller battery. This is still 120 hertz, 1080p panel, so that's actually pretty good. In terms of storage, you get eight gigs of RAM and 128 or 256 gigs of storage. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and click the little notification bell below. Stay tuned for more videos, and cheers for now.